What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nerd Spillover, the spillover channel for Nerd Harmony. It's also my second channel, if, if you didn't catch that drift. Today, we're going to take a look at all of my pocket knives. Nerd Spillover. Also, did you guys take a cool look at my new logo? I'm sure you saw it on the page, but I'm going to put a big one up here. I just think it looks really neat and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get into this video. The first one we're going to go over is one I had that was made for my work. I'm not going to show you the name or the phone number or anything, but I work at a Peterbilt dealership. And the our logo and phone number is underneath my thumb. So that's pretty cool. Custom made knife. The next knife I'm going to show you I had for a very, very long time. This was my everyday carry knife for the longest time because it's my colors, black and red. And uh, I'm a Spider-Man fan. If you haven't seen my other channel, Nerd Harmony, link down below. Check it out if you'd like to. Subscribe if you want to. Subscribe to this video too if you'd like. That'd be cool. Anyway, here's my knife. It's got a, it's got a, a machined front. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's machined on the front, which is pretty cool. It's equipped there. It's called a Tack Force. Speedster just means spring-assisted, so. I like the spring assisted kind myself. I don't care so much for the uh, serrated little bit. This one's really sharp too. I have a sharpener that I sharpen all my knives with. That's not in here right now. But I make sure that they're nice and sharp. So I got that. This is a nice little sturdy knife. It's got a window punch, which I've never used. And it's got this belt cutter, seat belt cutter, which I've also never tried it on anything. I mostly use this one for boxes and stuff at work. Or whatever you need a knife for throughout the day. That's why I carry a knife with me every day, everywhere I go. The next knife is my, um, uh, this was my carry knife uh, for the longest time. It's made by m -Tech. This is the same knife that was used by, um, same style, by, um, the Joker in The Dark Knight. Except his was a switchblade, which... I don't own one because they were illegal for the longest time in my state and they just recently became legal and I haven't even seen anywhere for anyone to buy them or to sell them. So, and I also had a window punch that I tried to use on a window and it just mushroomed over the top. If you look there, see it? So this wouldn't have worked in a situation where I would have needed a window punch. But it's a pretty nice little knife you've seen me open. I think all my unboxings in my other channel are done with this knife right here, so. This was my, uh, probably my longest everyday carry knife right here. The next knife we're going to go over is my most recent everyday carry. Not my current everyday carry. This one is a Smith & Wesson MNP. I don't remember what that stands for. But it's got, it's got a bunch of patents, which is on the blade. It's got a lock for the blade, so you can't open it with the locks on. And instead of being spring-assisted, it's actually got a, it's spring-assisted, but it has a trigger. See that? It's got a trigger, which I think is really freaking cool. It's got a whole bunch of patents, which are listed there. I looked them all up. One's for the trigger mechanism, one's for the locking mechanism, one's for the, uh, the uh, safety mechanism, and one's for the spring mechanism itself. So you unlock it there, hit the trigger, bang, there it goes. So this is a pretty cool knife. I carried this for a while at work, but then I went on a vacation and I got this knife here, which is currently my everyday carry knife. Um, it's got gears on it that did work. They stopped working recently. These gears turned, see? When you hit the knife, there we go. They would turn, they would turn with the knife, but that, I don't know why that stopped working. I just did something stupid because this is really sharp. Um, so there's a knife there that was skeletonized that you could see the springs and stuff, but it was like $300. And I didn't have that kind of money at the time. None of these knives cost me more than like 50 bucks. I think the most expensive one is 50. This one in my hand. Uh, so the gears inside are, are carved out of the, not carved, but they're cut out of the metal that the handle's made out of, which is really, really cool looking. It's really light. It doesn't have the serrated part, which I don't like. I don't like the serration, I mean. It's really... They're all super sharp, so don't think they're not sharp. Except for my butterfly knife, which I'll show you right now. So here's my butterfly knife. This I actually got 
because a person got in a car accident and their car was abandoned. So we went through the car and took all the stuff out before, and the person went to jail and blah, 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 blah. So I found this knife. It says Ninja on it. The blade's all broken and bent. See, but I used to have a really cool blue butterfly knife that I practice with all the time. And I'm pretty decent with a butterfly knife. It's, just, it's been a very long time since I've even used one. But yeah, there's my butterfly knife. This knife here was actually a Christmas present. It's a tack force, just like, uh, where's that other one? Just like this one. But I got this for Christmas. And um, I got it because uh, the person who got it, my mom, knows I like spiders. So she got it, it's got all these spiders on it. It's got a spider web cut out. This hole in knives, by the way, that one doesn't have it. That one has a hole, okay? This one, that hole's not called the same thing. This one has a hole there. Does this one have a hole? I don't remember. No. But this hole in these knives is called a spider hole. So I thought it was cool that they made the spider hole in the shape of a spider. Oh uh, yeah, I got that one for Christmas from my mommy. USA design made in China. That's funny. Handmade in China. Yeah, uh, I don't. I didn't carry this one for very long. This is actually the one I carried while I. This one I, I retired this one. Got this one for Christmas. Carried this one for like a month. Then I got some money for Christmas and I bought my Smith and Wesson. So that's how that played out. Since they're all open, let's open them all up. And here's the, here they all are open. So far, I'm not done yet. Knife, 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 and I remember thinking this was extra wicked looking. Brand is Vortec. It's a little, I've never carried this because it's kind of scary and it's insanely sharp. This knife is the sharpest one. And I didn't carry it because it's kind of bulky when it's closed. I mean, look at my big Smith & Wesson, which is my bulkiest knife compared to this one when it's closed. I mean, it's bigger, it's not taller. That's about the same, but it's really big and it kind of, it's awkward in your pocket. And I'm left-handed, so it goes in my right pocket because my pens go on my left pocket. So it's kind of weird sitting on the edge of my right pocket, but it's wicked, it's crazy. I looked up what it's for, I guess it's for fighting these knives. This whole, you, like it's for, yeah, it's for fighting. So I just think it's really cool looking. So that there is all of my knives. I don't have a couple videos to show you, so I'm not gonna end it like that yet. I only have a couple videos, so my next video will have a proper ending, and hopefully I'll have some kind of channel art to make, but yeah, that's all my knives. I'm gonna try to make this channel have its own ending, but until then, it's going to be my Nerd Harmony ending, which is, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I look forward to talking again, and I'll see you next time. Hey, also, really quick while I'm cleaning up, would you guys be cool and go check out this channel's uh, Instagram? I actually haven't made it yet, but I'm going to post some knife videos on my Instagram. And it would be really cool if you guys go check that out and follow me along on there. It's linked below because I haven't made it yet, but it's linked below.